Last night at the Jersey City City Council, the president of the Jersey City Police Officers Benevolent Association, Carmine Disbrow, explained to the council that his younger officers, who are only making about $41,000, are suffering because they no longer have access to job opportunities with the off-duty jobs program, which many of our audience knows came under heavy scrutiny in 2017 because of some corruption. Well, Council President Rolando Lavaro spoke back saying that the council will be introducing an ordinance at its September 25th meeting to try to restore that off-duty works program. And that if the council passes that ordinance on a second reading in October, but the city pushes back, well, he'd be willing to take up litigation against the administration. As everyone is aware, the lawsuit that filed by the JCPOBA and the JCPSOA, the unions that represent the men and women that protect Jersey City every day, is a response to Mayor Phillips' complete elimination of the JCPD off duty jobs program. There's no question the program has been abused. Our unions has pointed out concerns and made suggestions to make the program one that was managed in a more efficient and with greater oversight in, in uh, partnership with several members of the council that are in front of me tonight on our uh, off-duty committee. While Mayor Phillips doesn't hesitate to use our men and women in campaign videos, our youngest members, products of Jersey City, are being forced together to, to couch surf and otherwise live in less desirable circumstances. To be clear though, Sorry. by ending the, the uh, program with the only alternative by this administration is to supplant trained police officers with flagmen has been a complete disaster and made the city far less safe. To sum up, we are urging you to stand up for this body's independence by allowing yourselves to voice separate from the administrations on a matter of the off-duty program. Further on, from tonight, we are all asking that you swiftly introduce the ordinance that has been crafted jointly between our unions and several members of the councilmen. Council members Rivera, Borgiano, Prince Airy, to put our police officers back where they belong, protecting our community. Thank you. So I will stand by that and fight to make sure that this voice of this city council is empowered and will be able to be able to exercise its authority and provide a true check and balance on the, this administration and um, their recklessness with regard to how they, they, they utilize their power. Um, and in a dictatorial style, thinking that they can just terminate these programs, um, execute other programs without the consent of council, which is required by law. And so I want to make that very clear that um, if it shouldn't come before the council, or if that ordinance should pass uh, by the council, whatever should pass, and it's not implemented or executed, make no doubt about it. For my part, I will stand up in a litigation against the administration and make sure that they know that this city council member um, is going to stand up to make sure that the laws of this city are adhered to and that the laws that the city council um, puts forward are adhered to as well. Mark Boosnich reporting in Jersey City for Hudson County View, the eye of the community.